First Alert Forecast with meteorologist Hannah Messier. Hannah's here now and she's got our weather-wise question for us. Our question is Halloween themed, so let's take a look. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble comes from which Halloween-esque book? Here are the options. Is it A, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, B, Dracula, C, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, or D, Macbeth? I'll mm. let you guys think about that. And we are going to look at the first alert screams forecast. Perfect today to go on a Halloween adventure. It's going to be very fall like today with temperatures in the 60s. 64 degrees at 4 p.m. with the sunshine, 63 degrees at 3 p.m. So anything you want to do fall like outside will be a great day for it. We have all green boxes highlighted on your first alert. No impacts are expected for today. And on our satellite and radar, we've got nice clear skies across the region. Very clear for today because of a high pressure system that's no longer over Iowa, but it's still close enough out in Indiana and Ohio that it's actually causing winds to come from the south and that's why we're going to be at just a tad warmer today compared to what we had yesterday. Here are those, here is that sunshine with the winds from the south that'll continue for the entire day. Overnight though some clouds start to come in and Monday the start of the work week actually looks pretty cloudy across the area. Highs today reaching the 60s, 67 in Oskaloosa, 66 in Tama, and 63 in Decorah with that sunny sky and winds out of the south 10 to 20. Now overnight lows will cool only into the 40s and 50s, so a little bit warmer tonight compared to what we had last night, 50 degrees in Oskaloosa, 46 in Waterloo and 44 in Maquoketa with that partly cloudy sky. Now it's going to be pretty warm for the start of the work week. Above normal temperatures are expected Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday is also going to be pretty warm, but after a cold front comes in on Wednesday, things are going to drop for Thursday and Friday. It's going to be very seasonal for the end of the work week. And here's that cold front bringing in some rain for Wednesday though. So on Wednesday we're going to see some scattered showers and a few rumbles of thunder move into the area, especially in the afternoon and through the overnight hours. As the rain moves east though, we'll start to clear out with the clouds and Thursday we'll actually have a partly cloudy sky with dry conditions for Halloween. Now long term temperature outlook November 3rd through November 9th. That looks to be above normal so in general our above normal trend will continue. We have those rising temperatures Monday and Tuesday. Also notice the winds on Monday and Tuesday. South 20 to 30 plus on Monday. South 20 to 40 plus on Tuesday. Tuesday very windy. Past Tuesday and Wednesday we have those scattered showers and storms. 50s come back for Halloween and the first day of November. Now back to our weather wise question. What do you guys think the answer is? I'm pretty sure it's A. Oh, I, I think it's D. We're not in the theater, so I, I'm allowed to say it. I think it's Macbeth. Good job, Rebecca. It is Macbeth. Now, to be fair, J.K. Rowling uses a lot of like old European literature to like influence the books. So my guess is that there is a reference to that in Harry Potter, but it originally comes from Shakespeare's Macbeth. I, have you, have I, you read Macbeth? No. <laughs> I feel like I get half a point. I'm going to look this up in the break because I'm pretty sure they sing it in the movie. They do, but it originally comes from Shakespeare's Macbeth. With the there are these three witches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I get half a point. Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. Rebecca gets the full point. Though. I, I'll, we'll give it to Rebecca. All right. Thanks, Hannah.